Welcome to this SwageLock how-to video. In this segment, we'll look at identifying thread pitch and size. Thread pitch and size are very important to anyone who uses fittings or any threaded components. Here's what you'll need to perform the procedure shown in this brief video. A caliper, a pitch gauge, a thread identification guide. Let's take a look. Threads have peaks and valleys, referred to as crests and roots. The surface between the crest and the root is called a flank. Tapered threads, which may also be referred to as dynamic threads, are designed to seal as the flanks of the mating threads are drawn together. A thread sealant is required to fill in the gaps between the crests and roots to prevent system fluids from penetrating the connection. Straight threads, which may also be referred to as parallel threads, are not designed to seal. They must rely on other factors such as a gasket, O-ring, or some kind of metal-to-metal -metal contact to create a leak-tight seal. The first step to identifying the thread size and pitch is to determine whether the thread is tapered or parallel. Tapered threads are at an angle in relation to the center line, while parallel threads are parallel to the center line. Use a caliper to measure the nominal male or female thread crest-to-crest -crest diameter on the first, fourth, and last full threads. If the diameter increases on a male end or decreases on the female end, the thread is tapered. If all the diameters are the same, the thread is a straight thread. Now use the caliper to measure the nominal male or female thread diameter from crest to crest. For a tapered thread, measure the fourth or fifth full thread. For a parallel thread, measure any full thread. The next step is to determine the thread pitch. Use a pitch gauge and check the thread against each form until you find a match. Some fractional and metric thread forms are very similar, so this may take a little time. The final step is to determine the thread standard. Take the information you have gathered, the thread category, the nominal diameter, and the thread pitch, and use a thread identification guide, such as the Swage Lock Thread and End Connection Identification Guide, to identify the thread. Refer to swagelock.com for additional information. Thank you for watching. We will continue to develop videos like this to help you get the job done. Get more information by watching our other videos or by contacting your authorized sales and service center.